The Subaru Forester is a top-selling SUV. No wonder fans have been deliberating, waiting, and anticipating what could come for the 2025 model year. And that's why in this video, we're going to consider three lesser-known secrets the 2025 Forester will feature you didn't otherwise expect. And if you stay all the way until the end, you could find out a problem this all-new vehicle might have that no one talks about. Let's dive in. Design and Outlook The most noticeable alteration is the Forester's new appearance. While it isn't fully new, the style, which is influenced by Ford and Nista designs, feels considerably cleaner. It's still a lukewarm stylistic statement in comparison to vehicles like the Tucson, but it's more appealing with head and taillight configurations that flow more smoothly into the body and black fender flares that mirror the WRX. It's not daring, but it's attractive and obviously says Subaru from a mile away. New 17, 18, and 19 inch wheel styles are now available. Subaru claims that the body and chassis have been 10% stiffer by employing more industrial adhesives and producing more welds below. Moreover, additional sound absorbing materials will be available. According According to Subaru, these adjustments will result in a 39% reduction in cabin noise, as well as a more regulated ride and somewhat improved handling for the Forester. Another change that could help the occasionally unstable Forester handle better on winding roads is the crossover's adoption of the WRX's dual pinion electronic power steering system. The highest touring trim level comes with redesigned front seats that have the ability to be both heated and ventilated. Speaking of cooling, instead of mindlessly heating or cooling every area of the vehicle, the climate control system has been configured to concentrate on occupied seats. Additionally, the front seats are thinner, making the already roomy rear seat easier to reach. The 11.6 inch Starlink screen, which is standard on previous Previous Subaru models take center stage in the cabin's design, which is essentially an update of earlier models. The other Forester models will come with a large screen and its optional navigation system, but the base model will continue to employ a peculiar configuration of two 7.0 inch displays, similar to certain other entry model Subarus like the Legacy. Top 5 Settings the auto start stop mechanism is the first setting that many people inquire about. When you come to a complete stop with your foot firmly on the brake, this technology turns off the engine and restarts it when you let off of the brake. The auto start stop switch is placed on the left side of the dashboard of the Subaru Forester. When turned off, it glows orange and you may turn it on and off using this switch. The symbol for this can be seen on the Forester's central display. The second option is for maintenance. Typically, oil changes are recommended every six months or 6,000 miles, whichever comes first. To change this, press and hold the info button until you see push and hold info. Holding it brings up the menu and you can navigate to maintenance to adjust settings. The third option allows you to customize safety elements like the lane departure alert buzzer. The lane departure warning beeper on the Forester may be disabled by clicking and holding a physical switch. When utilizing adaptive cruise control, this option may also be periodically switched on and off. Regarding the auto vehicle hold AVH feature, there is a fourth setting. When the car is fully stopped, this feature maintains the position of the vehicle without requiring you to apply the brake. You may quickly enable or disable the AVH feature by tapping the on slash off switch, which is featured on the Forester with a smaller touchscreen display. But this could change and boast the same navigations as the Outback because of the addition of bigger display screens, except of course you choose to get the base model. Finally, several Subaru models starting in 2018 feature Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You have the option of connecting wirelessly or via USB cord. Click the Add Device icon to connect wirelessly, then choose your device from your phone's Bluetooth settings and connect with CarPlay. A USB connection is required for communication in the Forester with an earlier touchscreen display. However, because the larger display is an extra, it may as well be wireless, with the exception of the base trends. A sad problem. Despite the Forester's reassurance in performance, style, and design, there will exist one little problem. Consumer Reports says it's worth noting, though, that if you want many of the most advanced features the new Forester has to offer, driver monitoring and ventilated seats among them, you'll have to shell out for the top-of-the-line trim, which is likely to carry a significant premium over the base model. This means that most of the welcome homey features the Forester will feature could be held from reach on the standard trims, implying the spending of extra cash to possess all features. Well, what's the price to be expected of this car. Subaru of America has yet to reveal pricing for the all-new 6th generation Forester, but it will almost certainly be significantly more. With all of the extra enhancements, the top-tier Forester Touring will most likely cost $40,000 or more. Custer Report says the redesigned 2025 Subaru Forester incorporates a host of new and improved safety technology onto a stiffened chassis that the automaker says gives a quieter ride than its predecessors. Although the aesthetic presence of the new model skews more brawny thanks to a beefier grill or squinty headlamps, pronounced in plastic cladded fender arches and distinct haunches. It's no surprise that cosmetic changes are relatively minor. The Forester has been a winner for Subaru, providing owners with standard all-wheel drive, big high visibility windows, and easy utility. Now
Now the automaker has enhanced its standard active safety features with pedestrian and cyclist detection and a rear seat occupant alert system and offers driver monitoring and emergency steering as optional equipment. Consumer Reports predicts that the redesigned 2025 Forester will cost between $28,000 and $39,000 when it arrives in dealerships next spring. That's pretty much it. But why should you even want to consider parting away with that much cash? Is it worth it really? Well, all your answers are in this video over here. So go watch that next and I'll see you there.